Hello, hello, hello. You never, you never put this all the way in. You always put it, you barely put it in. <sighs> Sorry, friend. <clears throat> Another word line. Oh, people have been talking, we just didn't show up. Oh, because I took off the thingy. Sorry, Sorry I, I took off the chat from the from the gameplay. I forgot. I was like, why is no one here and talking? Arthur's ghost. <laughs> Hello. Who the fuck? <laughs> and then Phantom said first. Let's play chat. Arthur said, boa. Show Top right. Arthur, my boy. Is that you? That's all. I was first. Then maybe. Who's look Arthur's how, ghost? Look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> well, it was Michael who did it. That rat. I don't know who I don't know who you are, but no supporters uh, I'm from sorry, I pronoun, the pronoun stream. I was busy. No worries, Saul. You missed the best stream. We we cried, pretty much almost cried. Uh, I cried a little bit at Voldy's passing. We got a dog now, so it's a little harder to play and stream. Arthur's ghost is. I was first. I saw that Arthur's ghost. Yeah, we 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 had to go get him some waffles for breakfast tomorrow. That's where we're a little leaf streaming right now. And if we stop to go pick up, you know, pick up after him or something, that's why. We literally started our stream? Yeah, as soon as we started streaming, he peed. This motherfucker started peeing on the ground. That dog almost died. <laughs> I watched a great deal of it. Oh, nice song. Make it say woof. It's, it's literally an eight-week-old baby. It's, it's, it's only two months old. Yeah. I'm trying to keep him entertained. He's on the bed, on his bed. On our bed, in his bed. Playing with his little stucky. Maybe put, maybe put him more in the center, baby. Oh. So, you time you connect the mic, you do something that doesn't connect correctly. Like any any slight movement to it. Yeah, black water. Any slight movement to it, and then and it um, it, it's like disconnects. Where's Arthur's oh, ghost? What? Yeah. Arthur's Maybe you shall find peace. Arthur, I thought you died. How to kill and... I think he's the same guy as before. A dollar yeah. for your future. A dollar for your fate. It's, it's his toy. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's, yeah I'm, just, I'm keeping it entertained with his little ducky. That smells like his siblings. How's everyone doing today? Good? Good. You have learned the most important Fucking Rachel. And only one thing that Okay, up here. <laughs> up in heaven. Listen carefully. What about horses? He, he wanted me to listen to the dialogue. I don't care about the dialogue. He said listen carefully. Those have meanings. Fuck those meanings. Did you just pull a gun to his face to see if he's actually blind, brother? I did. We were instructed to do so by somebody. And the gay place. Oh, no, don't bite me. He, he bites your fingers a lot. I'm trying to get him to bite the dust. I know. Lucky he had to. <laughs> they foreshadow some stuff. No, don't bite me. <laughs> That's how my dad is doing. I have, I have Arthur's weapons. Oh, nice. I guess he went back to his body and got them. <laughs> Feature is hope. Javier said, Arthur, how is there any internet connection up in heaven? <laughs> I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen. I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, 
afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. It's called squatters. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> you a real gentleman. Okay, boys. <laughs> let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Arthur said, well, look at, look at that. Little John has a house. Devin asked, you and God buds to Arthur. Arthur said, sure, Devin. Javier said, man, Abigail won't be back to you if that's the house you'll be giving her a check. <laughs> He's saying it's shitty. Ouch! He's ignoring the duck and going for my hand. It's a dump. <laughs> it's alright. It's a shack. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Yeah, I talk. Uh, it's cute, but he bites a lot. In here. He's eating. He's only two months old. All his teeth are coming in. They're like breaking through the skin, so it, it hurts and he wants to bite things. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it oh is my you. God, bro. Well, I, I thought he was dead, boy. Hell? Dead. Uncle. The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. Oh, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, <laughs> I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. <laughs> slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. <laughs> Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> For real. How, how is he living on his uncle's is not aged, does he? Does he does He's does got lumbargo, that's why. Follow me. All right. Uh, Hello, sir. Lumbargo. I got beaches hope. So, um... Javier said that that house is better than nothing. Arthur said it's nice for John. I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... Javier, Lenny, Jose, and Sean told me to tell you to Michael. you were doing in the bank? Spend it? in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. 
Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. Chilling in Mexico? Just bought this place. The other You're states. Lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place That's to gang bury split. out here. Dog's trying to fuck. The dog's trying to fucking um, find people out. That guy's house. It's awful house. Jesus Christ. It's beautiful. This is it. Look at her. Lucy, why don't you think this is that? straight dog. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. <laughs> You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Who just got here? He's already laying down. For real. No time lumbargo for you. Bro, is he gonna do anything? Oh, he's doing something. Nope. No, he's just kidding. <laughs> he's still reviving the kettle. And of course, he just went to sleep. Fucking garbage ass, Uncle Doom. Smack the fuck out of him. <laughs> nah, John is the slave. Lady. Uncle who? He, I think he said, not gonna lie, I missed Uncle. Uncle who? <laughs> Bill sucked. Bill, Javi, I lost all respect for you. You betrayed me. Bill. Actually, Javi I, actually, wait up. Actually, I saw, I saw a panel. I was watching a panel of the Red Dead uh, cast talking. And if if you actually pay attention to the gameplay, when uh when they have to ch choose sides, Harry doesn't choose a side. He stands in the middle and points his gun up because he can't shoot his. He's all like, I can't sh I can't shoot my I can't put my gun at my hermano. That's what he said. That's what the voice actor who who played Harvey said. So Harvey Harvey couldn't point the gun at Arthur. Yeah, it was neutral. He if you go back and look at the clip, he's got his gun pointing up to the to the air. Pretty cool. I can't shoot to me hermanos, but I had to side with Dutch. Why did you have to side with Dutch? What was the reason? What was the reason? <laughs> Dude, Dutch saved Arthur too, and he fucking. Yeah, and Arthur saved you. I'm sure many times, Javier. Dude, I went fishing with you, dude. Then you fucking couldn't. You couldn't side with me. Now I'm dead. After I got my fucking ass beat by bitch ass Micah. Fucking traitor. He gave my life a purpose, but then it turned out to be a lie. Arthur, dude, fucking fight him, dude. Say some shit. You're dead. Please, is this, is play me? This, is, this is a ruse. This is a ruse. Arthur said he saved me. Somebody! Hey, you! It's gonna be you. a ruse. Please! You gotta help me! Mr. Abel Stucks been wanting us to sign our land over. Only this time they I escaped, but they they have my husband. They're gonna kill him. 
No, it's the same thing that's been happening to theirs, huh? huh? Where are they? It's the stone farmhouse back there where I came from. I'll head there now. I'll see about finding more help. We're going back to get it. I'm already going there now. First time you see this NPC? Arthur, no, I apologize. Oh. No apology. Oh, no, the joke was Javier said, oh. and you're dead as hell, Javier, or Arthur, look at me, I'm, I'm breathing. Yeah, that's fucked, dude. And then he said it was a joke. This has got to be a trap. I'm going to take a long time on you. Let's do it. If you're going to do it. There, get him! Get him! Oh! Hey! Untie me, will you? Still breathing, fella? Get these damn ropes off me! Gotcha, my guy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Those goddamn bastards deserve that and more. My wife. You see my wife by any chance? Yeah, I saw her. West of here. She told me to come find you. Oh, oh thank God. But thank Javier. you for hearing her call. Javier sees Arthur's ghost peeping through the window. <laughs> Hide. I see you. <laughs> Got him. Well, that's what you get for calling him dead. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, Arthur. All right, come on, bitch ass Rachel. Down a little bit. Yeah. Been playing for a while. Yeah. I can see through walls. Got him. Got him, coach. Perfect, so yeah, he's excited. He's playing. I might ask her about, her, about the biting and the itching. It could be. Come here, Javier. Or a coat. Coats are for pussies. Devin said, go under the floor. He can't see through the floor. <laughs> Got him. How did you travel so fast from heaven to Mexico, Arthur? The ghost. He can go wherever he wants. Just, I can oh, fucking rip your eyes. Kind of sus, Devin said. <laughs> Finally, look at him. Depends on what he means. Does that mean he can see like through your clothes, or does that mean he can see your skeleton? I guess he's biting because he's teething real hard. Really, like it's it like coming out, it's bugging him. He's not, he won't say. Like he's, that. he's falling asleep. He bites no. you, then he goes back to sleep. He woke up, bit me, went back to sleep. I take my hand out gently, but I might be stuck here. I'm gonna knock out right now. Yeah. I look at Sadie all the time. Got him, coach. Whoa, now. They sent me a screenshot. <laughs> Did she have a key yeah. <laughs> Got him, Devin. Devin's asking the important questions. Dog is asleep. Down to the count, friend. It's about time. We play with. I play with him about. Yes, sir. Just, yes, yes, sir. Big one. Damn. No, Stop lying. Hey, Arthur won't lie. Arthur's a truther. Take a picture of the dog if you can send on this card. Here, I'm going to send you guys a live photo of the dog. Sorry if our um, table is a little messy. We moved there a lot of stuff around for the dog. Yeah. I know we'll have your dog, so I look, look at her. Good morning. 
Good morning, man. Steve, got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. He said I will die for Sadie to see Sadie. What the hell does that mean? Oh, have your little <clears throat> ghost can read my Is this Voldy? Yep, same Voldy, same horse. <laughs> but it's not our Voldy. Huh? No, our Voldy's gone. These we have can run faster we have it for free. Anything else, even the law. Want this one? We want this one crazy. That one's garbage. What about the other one? Oh, uh, you only have nine dollars. This one's free. <sighs> Feels You'll weird. be ahead of the pack with one of these horses. Let's stay with Rachel. Oh my Vander, uh, Vanderlyn. You treat Valentine with respect. Javier, why do you watch Paw Patrol? Flat on your back in the mud. Howdy, Sheriff. Keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone! Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! John Marston! It is good to see you! <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do it. Real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke. Sure did. I thought that sounded like uh -oh, you. Uh-oh, hobbies. Abigail and Jack. She. She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly, and some other stuff, good and bad. Are you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Oh, oh it's legal. I'm um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Yeah. Adam, coach. Sounds, sounds, sounds like she stopped smoking. On. One second, I'm gonna put the puppy down on the on the floor. Well, can you do it without waking him up? Yeah, I'm gonna put him in the whole bed. Oh. Oh, it's okay. That's good. Just rearranging. The mic's not muted. Bino is very carefully picking up the dog bed, very carefully putting down the dog bed. Oh, he jostled him a little. He did not awaken. He did good. Can you pop me some popcorn, per potentially? I'll go get away. Oh, oh. He acted like that was asking a lot. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Javi, I got something you would like. Yeah? Did you guys go see the Discord and see the the pup watching us, well, asleep while we played Red Dead just now? It's a very cute photo. Oh, Devin saw it. Nice indeed. I think the dog sleeps better than I do. Same. It's 109 a.m. Oh, 109. 109 a.m. Damn. It was cute. I did, ma'am. Thank you, guys. Yeah, he was he was sitting up here because we need to keep an eye on him because we don't have the whole place puppy proofed. Um, 
So we had him on there, and he was just biting my hand and scratching at me and stuff until he he tore, wore himself out, and uh, <laughs> finally laid down. I figured he would. He's been all day, so I was alone with him today. Vino had um work all day. It was just sleep for like an hour or two, then wake up, go to the bathroom, eat, drink, play sleep wake up it's like repeat so he just did that cycle all day and earlier after he finished that cycle and it was time to sleep again if my dog does that to me for nine years does that mean he hates me i don't know Devin. i just think that means your dog's probably got some bad habits that um you probably didn't handle well when they were little an unlimited pass to see through sadie's clothing <gasps> oh oh But he's in Mexico. How is he supposed to see through her clothing from Mexico? It's a family dog, so I guess no one did. Yeah, I think family dogs are a little bit harder to um, train when they're puppies. Because you've got like a bunch of different people that are probably putting some not great habits into it. I definitely know some of our dogs could have had things better like when I was a kid. But you're gonna have to. But you're gonna take my soul for it, Arthur. <laughs> I can do it and give it to people. No. I think I know who Arthur's ghost is, guys. Oh, the dog woke up, but he's just rearranging himself. Okay, he does that. He can't find a good spot to sleep in. Oh. Maybe you should stay dead. <laughs> Arthur would never make Javier say that. Well, I'd agree, but I've grown mentally in the past eight years. Sadie and I never worked. I must let her go. Wow. Javier has grown a lot in the last eight years. He understands that it wasn't it wasn't working. Very mature of you, Javier. Very mature. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Esposo. I think it's getting a little chilly if you want to make it the door closed a little bit more. Not for me, but for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vino okay. is back, friends. Arthur's ghost offered Javier the ability to see through Sadie's clothes, babe. But he said over the last eight years he has grown a lot and realized that they their relationship did not work and that he needs to let her go. That he can, if, he, if not Sadie, he can pick somebody else. No, he wants the prices that he has to say that he's gay and in love with Micah. <laughs> I said that Arthur's Arthur would never um That's not even true, Coward. I called him my esposo, not esposa, and that doesn't even mean girlfriend. That would be novia. <laughs> you, you know what's disrespectful? Not streaming Elden Ring like you said you were gonna stream. That's disrespectful. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. Spanish I didn't that think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's no, you're gonna do other ring. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't My number one fan, eh? You can see. But you're a ranger hmm. now. I got Uncle with me. How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah, Good? Okay. Good. Uncle? Well, getting a scalp by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Damn, her words are dirty. I think the same.
I'm here as well, I'd help, but I'm comfortable here in Mexico. Number one fan, huh? And yet you hesitate to suck his toes. <laughs> Facts. And not mod, test. Facts. Yeah, hey, big facts, big facts. Beano's number one fan. Hey there, friend. How can I help? All right, see what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, forty-five. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. <laughs> Say, he said, "I'm fan. I'm your fan, I'm not gay." I'm gonna meet my friend in town, <laughs> but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Thank you, Kevin said you can't have one without the other. You have to be gay to be number He's one. He's not Diddy. Diddy was, I was, I was just coming out about Diddy. Huh? Ah. Ah. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. His partner. Carrot said you have to be willing to sacrifice anything and everything, including your pride and your saliva. Fuck. And Javier said, what's Diddy? Fuck, coward. I can't really look into the Diddy thing, so I don't know what happened. You, uh... There you are. He's staying in the welcome center. What now? Room three is just up there. Easy enough. Show us this um shrine. Shrine. Join our Discord and show the shrine. Picker, it didn't happen. Oh, I know why. Is he gonna use the AA generator he was talking about earlier? Oh. That was Devin that said that though. It wasn't Devin. Mr. Kirk! It was Arthur's ghost. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Go. Oh, it was Saul? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! Are you coming? Oh. A good girl now. You probably could have landed on the horse. Yeah. Remember, we want him alive though. I know. He I agree, alive. coward. I think it's uncle. I think the number one fan and Arthur's ghost are uncle. Whoa. Stay on him. I'll catch him. What you talking about? <laughs> Ah, Howard left. Howard's here. Oh, my bad. Sorry, Coward. Yeah, bro. Your number one fan said incorrect. I'm his number one fan. I think you're uncle. What's my catchphrase? Fuck is it though? It's uncle. Not murder. Please, no. This is persecution. Now things don't look so 
good. What you got there? Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Oops, that's all for them. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate. Uh, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, so I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Come on, lady. My god, Uncle wants to mission me. Your number one fan asked if they can be a mod. What's my catchphrase? What is it, number one fan? Supposed number one fan? Hey, you sure you can handle them by yourself? I'm here, so I got a question. And I got an answer, maybe. Maybe it's for your number one fan. No, I need water. the cliff yeah. I would that would have killed us Bro. who came first seven or coward seven yeah I think seven yeah. so coward seven, left seven's already. been here coward's here oh seven's been here for a couple years now yeah Devin was here way before coward coward came when I was doing um I was doing uh, Dark Souls 3. Devin's first stream, I think, was Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep. That's how we met him. Fucking two times in a row. I'm fucking. Well, I'll take care. Arthur's ghost is drinking a bunch of beer. Told you it's uncle. That's cool. twice now. <laughs> Told you it was uncle. Lenny! Uh, um, as for the rest of you? Oh shit! Why well, is Barry being possessed? And we'll just scare to possess him before then. Fucking rare, dude. Look at that. Fuck this. This was better than Baldi. Chill, don't say that. I fucking jumped out, bro. Oh, but he's got a stupid ass name, Rachel. Hi Rachel. Look at him. Look at this fucking bum. It's the lumbago. Now if I overdo it, I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like woman with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I'm getting up. Oh no! Wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Arthur's ghost is drunk and calling for Letty. Letty! Charles, isn't he the guy who's half Indian, half mm -hmm. black?
Grab me my water, babe. My what? Sorry, one second, guys. I have, I have water bottles in the bottom freezer. In the freezer? Where the ice is. Do yeah. you bring, bring me two? Just turn to it's H S M R stream. Who? Who's eating? It's Michaela. She's eating. She's gonna stop, guys. Number one fan left. Facts. Has anyone seen Lenny? Lenny! You're thirsty? Oh, fucking rib, dude. I'm about to chug down fucking water right now. Some cold water. Oh, he's right here. He's another one. Some fans right here. Vino's number one fan. Vino's number one one fan. Lene! Here come Michaela, we'll come back. Yosh, got my cold water here. Let's check this shit out. I hate that water. <sighs> Motherfuckers sleep. I want for you. I want for you. Oh, so good. Sorry for the ASMR, guys. Stole it from Fanta. Here we are. Come Devin on, knows. Devin's off. a real OG. I just stole from Fanta. My Back in Sand and <clears throat> I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. Screw you, man. You can't drink water, remember? Fasting. Sometimes I think sure. Saul's even more fancy than I am. Mm -hmm. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons <coughs> and you take the slums? Talk about Saul. Or who are you talking to? Oh. Well, that's oh. because I am my dear boy. I didn't think it was. Oh, hey girl. Not the girl <laughs> I want, but the there, girl was, I there was a video of the voice actor for Arthur, guys, and he said that he had to re re record. You guys are all fanboys, not the OG like me, said Vito's number one fan. <laughs> Alright. So you wouldn't happen to be Solani. Um. And Arthur, the guy that played Arthur, was saying like he had to redo the lines for the horse because they were saying that it sounded too intimate, that he was not talking to a horse. What are you doing to me? Uh, what? Who now? And then he did them in the mic. He was like, "What did he do? What were the lines that he had to redo?" All right, girl. All right, girl. E. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Only two of us. Yeah, a boxer. No. Nope. Sorry, right, Mister. No. Nope. Actually. You are right, yes, girl. He, I think he's fighting. I believe, fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. I think I can find the audio clip from it. Oh yeah, here it is. I think it was about two days in the booth doing that stuff, and you know, is Arthur's horse a mare or is it a stallion? And, do you, and then there's different dialogue. If you have a level four bonding, then if you have a level one bonding, you know, you're not quite as affectionate, etc. So we did that, and a couple of weeks later, I come back in, and our wonderful one of our wonderful assistant directors, Gethin Aldis, he says, Raj, we got to do those horse lines again. I was like, why? He said, well, it's a little too intimate. You know, it sounds like you're not talking to a horse. And I was like, what do you mean? And he played it back, and I was like, you're all right, girl. <laughs> oh, where's the easy girl part? 
of our wonderful assistants, right? I made it back, and I was like, you're all right, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, girl. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're right. We should do those again, man. <laughs> That's not me, is it? It's definitely you, dude. Uh, yeah, Javier said, yeah, Arthur was always a bit too close with his horses. Maybe that's where you got the TB from. <laughs> Bye. And Arthur said, what you, what'd you say about me, boy? I said, nothing, nothing. What the? See, Arthur? That's not me, is it? It is you. And then Devin said, Voldy too deserved it for what she went through. <laughs> Saul said he'll be back. Javier said, maybe See, that's why Voldy endured act, it for so long, all the pain. You guys act like I did so much bad things. That was good to her. <laughs> All the pain and suffering, that we are said. It's a different kind of pain. It's different when you... Man, I had a lot of kernels in this one. For a horse. Voldy didn't deserve it. You guys are acting like a fucking beater or something, dude. She was fucking fine. So she got hit by a tree a couple times. Big whoop. There's a monkey. Howard, somebody has somebody get the hoochie bananas. <laughs> also teased her with death. Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Still loving Not surprise. one of life's great mysteries, turns out. <laughs> and you are a killer. Oh, shit. You don't know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. Oh, So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So. So. You you probably clip once, dude. Place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too. Only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On. Myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. I I he's yeah, but he's putting money on himself. I think he's in a. Between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious. I, I told you to bet on him. I did, I bet on Charles. Uh... And on my right, an engine Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Looking
lone wolf. I'm gonna get you the hell out of here. Hey, lone wolf. Whoa. How? Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed. I said we. So you keen on staying around here, or heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I. I'm a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Already. Got some chat from that. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. This was like a sequel to the fucking yeah. game, huh? Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Oh, wow. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He got buried. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Whoa. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Exactly. Sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or Bardog. give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Just keep it, don't worry about it. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. And Micah. I hope Get that back. dead. <laughs> you know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on That's us the mine. whole time. Or he gave it to me, bro. Since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. Okay. Uh, hold yeah. on. What? Careful. Why? Those. Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Oh, oh shit. Been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. I think they want to brawl. Three. I don't know how to fuck a gun shot to find a while. I just got here. I wanted that alive already. For real. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my back. Okay. Where I am, it's like it what Doug said Tahiti is. <laughs> Mango? Right. Javier said, Where's Uncle when you need him? What the hell's Uncle supposed to do? Probably fucking drunk. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Send we'll the goat? Fuck no. Remember that. Said, be my meat Only shield. Well. This is Lombardo. Anyone? <laughs> Good so far. We're having a number one fan. Gone. Gone. So much for the number one fan? Yeah. Of denying it at least. No. We can't get caught. That's what they're doing. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. In the meat. They take us in. What'd you say? The in the meat. Why would you get, get that? That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? 
I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, John Charles, <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's hit the road. I don't know. That'll show. Damn. How many years that eight years have passed? Yet I still fish. How many years fishing? He fishes but catches nothing. <laughs> That's why he's still fishing. Hoping okay. he'll catch something. Chopping wood for your rock farm. The man's uncle wants to do a mission like I'm going here. Ah, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. Just the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst mm -hmm. enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying, trying to, to change say? My settings it's awful. Screen. It's a dump. Yeah. The house has got to go. Well, get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house that a lady set foot in. This just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman <laughs> touch this place. Got him. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Charles is ready. Now, buddy. just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Fucking rev, dude. Into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Yeah. Facts. Um. Javier said, Uncle be spitting facts about the Ibian outhouse. Arthur's ghost said, Bunkle's my third favorite parasite. That was it. Who's number one parasite? Arthur said, Ringworm. Oh? Ringworm. The actual parasite. A lot of animal abuse in this game. Fuck animals, figuratively. Mainly Vino is dishing out abuse. Nah, dude, I'm good. Arthur's ghost second favorite parasite is Ralph. I want his skill. Get him. Maybe you should get a 
wild horse. Probably I can. Three. Javier said, hey, I'm just thinking, Abigail, remember how she was a little too happy about working at the cleaning of doctor, cleaning the doctor's office? And now she's left ya. Damn. Highness is suspicious. Hey, number, one fan, number one fan said, true, true. Devin said, go to the docks for a headache, but leave with a heartache. Fuck. She went in for a headache and left pregnant. Regante. Regana Nan. Sadie? Oh, John! <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? The last one. Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in. And I got robbed. Got him, coach. A professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're pulled up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but. Now that you're here, maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. Come on, mount up. In response to me saying that uh, Lancelot was fair-haired, Okay. Javier said, give my boy some time. He will grow into it. <laughs> Gotta follow Sadie. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy my ranches. Some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. Looks like it's bloodstained. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble? Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. Yeehaw, you know Javier. Uncle. Besides, Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You er wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? Sir. Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. He took everything real hard. But 
I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? What? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, Facts. he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. Yeah, our research, she's not asking about me so far. And uh, never said sh not yet she will. And then he says, see, I should have sided with you, John. I'd be there. Alongside you and Sadie. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. I always said I've never once seen her interact with Javier in the game. <laughs> Got him. Got him, coach. We cut off here. <laughs> this is the place. It's a view, all right. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Mine. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Should have his man. Uh, come on. Let's go follow him. He's our boss at the farm we work at, Devin. Back on your horse. Let's get after them. We're not even on a horse. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Let's get rid the Dutch is probably a little bit good. All right. Keep an eye on them. 
Welcome back to the ranch now. Pay you three dollars for shoveling shit every day. Fuck that, dude. Garrett said, uh, that just living good, not having to babysit a bunch of worthless trailer trash. We know they're down there. Don't ride so close. Those trailer trash gave him money. You won't Howard. Get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You, you talking to me or like to? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Oh, Javier said somebody, um, folk ate the fishy pot. Some got poisoned. <laughs> Rest in peace. That was okay, get off your horse. Let's get off it's the horse right here, bro. Come on, boy. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley. Not my fault their stomach Coming couldn't handle the his horse. fish. <laughs> what are they waiting for? <sighs> the rest of Langton's men, I think. Well, who cooked it, Javi? Well for himself. How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I mean, piercing cooked it all right. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. I'm going over here. Okay. All I'm saying is that food poisoning tends to have to do with how it's cooked and not really the source of it. This explains a lot. Oh, Mr. Dickens, you don't shovel shit, you tell people to. Oh, the chat. Shout me.
you counting for win or something? What? Are you counting for win? No, I fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> I was like, you shot like super to the right of it. I fell asleep. <laughs> Legit, I swear to god. <laughs> I see a cliff, you should be careful with Rachel. Evan, we're not even on Rachel. Where is that motherfucker? I woke up early. I woke up early to. Um... Yeah, with the horse. Or no, with the horse. With the dog, we have we have to wake up at like six thirty to to feed him. Feed him. I'm drifting off when it's, it's uh, when when it's descending to go sleep. <laughs> For real, how's Arthur dripping up his bed? Shit! That damn harpy! Let's get Finley! Get him out of here! Let's go. Get him on the roof! Let's go. 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 <laughs> What's it look like? Let's do twice. You good? No, I'm tired. You yeah, I'll get off after this. I'll let you, let you, I'll let you do some um okay. some dominoes. Hey, don't do me. You me alone. I went on Indian guy here to go with a careful <laughs> To drift away. Get the dominoes going. It means to die. Oh, I shot the wrong way. My dude. Sorry, let me try this again. I just whispered. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, well, we'll start earlier tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. We just, I, I. Now let's get out of here. We, we want to go buy some the, the we, dog food. Yeah, we have to go get some food for, for Loki. Apparently, his breed of dog gets bored pretty easily with yeah. food. Oh, no! I don't want to. I, I, I don't want to stop, guys, because I, I love this game. Yeah, he's just drifting off. But I'm, I'm literally drifting off. I, I, I know. When he's riding the horse, I look over and his eyes keep closing. It's a miracle, honestly. Oh, This area was. From Red Dead we spent, 1? Yeah, you spent a lot of time in this area. Yeah, Coward said it's starting to look like Red Dead 1. Yep. Leave her there to die. <laughs> Kevin said. Shoot her, Hori. I'm so angry. Dude, you said you moved on. What was that about? Myself. There'll be a book in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please! Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated oh. civil. Shut it! You heard the lady. Thank you. I mm -hmm. still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How'd it work ain't easy, John? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. I just, like, we did why are you talking about that? And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. 
And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. You know who would not like that he's doing this? You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Damn you! I hate you, Arthur. Javier said. What? Oh, he said he danced with Katie. We're gonna something. watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Right. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. John's uh, wife, Javi. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Bye-bye. John. Say it Parrot said he's doing all this behind his wife's back. That was that his wife kind of left. Fuck, fuck. Parents said, but not divorced. There's no dominoes here. Ain't gay, but Arthur. What? There's no dominoes at all. I can't play dominoes? No, with him. You can do blackjack. Blackjack, I'll probably do nothing. nothing. Alright, looks like we're getting off then, friends. Sorry for the short stream today. I apologize, but I am falling asleep, just friends. Un just under an hour and a half. Which is <sighs> shorter than normal, obviously, but um, Vino's been up since uh, 6.30. And um, we have to get extra shit for the dog. I haven't. Dino did not laugh. That Dino was here. Um, I got a three-hour nap in, or two and a half hours, or something like that, with when the dog was sleeping earlier. But Dino had work all day, so he's he's tired, understandably so. Is it? Yeah. Vino is not his number one fan. I am not. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep, guys. Sorry for the short stream. We'll be back tomorrow or earlier. And I uh, hope everyone has a good night. Good night, everyone. No, you're not my hermano. You betrayed me. What about the man behind Javier? The man, uh, Emmanuel. Good night, Emmanuel. Bye, Manny. But no uh, Bye, Coward. Everyone tune into Coward's Elden Ring stream. Bye, Arthur's Ghost. <laughs> Javi, next time I talk to you, I expect a good ghost story. Every every uh, Mexicano I know has all these ghost stories. Every single Mexicano I know has seen a ghost. Every real. Oh, they got money for me. Yes. Yes. We'll take it. I need it. We're poor. Yep, we're suffering. Let's, Uncle. I've got a few. I knew you did. Yes, sir. <laughs> you uh, all do. We'll be, back to, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll stream a lot early tomorrow. Awesome. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. Bye-bye. Bye. Buenas noches.